to bring my own personal experience into this, number one, as an ER doctor, I was surprised at how many infections that I saw from improper use of your contact lenses. So not only, in this case, we're talking about buying counterfeit lenses that are already contaminated. Mm -hmm. So it highlights, obviously, even if you get good contact lenses, make sure you, you use them in a way that is sterile. But it took me years to really find the contact lens that worked for me. And it's amazing how much it can hurt your eyes if you're not buying the proper contact lens exactly for your eye. I don't wear contact lenses, but you know, obviously the appeal to getting to getting your, your contacts online is huge, just a convenience factor. And you they're cheaper. You and I do want to point out, so there are counterfeit lenses that are flooding the market, but then there's these bootleg brands. I call them bootleg brands because they're non-prescription brands. I haven't even heard of any of these. They're not reputable. In fact, uh, there was a, the, in 2015, the authorities did something called Operation Fright Night, where they basically shut down all of these resellers that were selling these kinds of lenses in their fashion stores as cosmetics, right? Well, well I've even seen them in Halloween displays exactly. when they, I take my kids. Exactly, and they down on them too. And a few of the brands, which are the same ones that I picked up, came back contaminated. So just be careful out there because these are readily available. People are selling them like they are cosmetics and the public is perceiving them as such and that's where the problem lies. Dr. Cockrell, if you want fashion for your eyes, is it fair to say just find a cool fashionable pair of glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, it's much safer until you've seen some of the disasters that happen, and invariably to young people where they're scarred for life, some of these problems aren't fixable. Every year, the American Optometric Association, in, in con uh, conjunction with the CDC, runs a series of videos that patients can go to look at to educate themselves about it. And you could go to AOA.org and look the information up. Certainly, the CDC has information. You, 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 once your eyes are damaged, it's, it's impossible to fix some problems. Well, and I think that is a great way to end this conversation. You're always going to be better safe than sorry. Leslie, I applaud you once again. And I know that you yourself <laughs> may have inspired some local resources to get involved because there's a lot of black market dealings going on here in LA. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Cockrell mentioned local authorities sometimes are the ones to reprimand or get some of these companies out of business. So congrats on that. If you're you. looking for more information about all of this, the contact lenses, safety, go to our website, thedoctorstv.com. Dr. Cockrell, thanks so much Thank you. for joining yeah, us. Thank you very much. Once again, Leslie, well if you were Thank tossing you. me a ball, I'd say you hit a home run. Thank you, Travis. Great job.